All right, everybody, good morning. Today is a wonderful Friday, August 21st. Yay, we're almost two months away from uh, completion. Yes, I am uh, absolutely ecstatic. These guys behind me need to get busy. Yes, they do. And uh, the former says no problem by November 1st. Anyways, let's go take a look and see what's going on behind me. All right, and these guys are busy. They got four guys working on our fence. Our uh, mason, and oh, we got flea laborers today out here working on this. And they're uh, slopping down the base and down here in this little trench that they made. So it's going to be nice and, st and sturdy. This will be tomorrow. We'll probably have almost all the hollow blocks in, maybe. That's if we have enough. Looking at the stack, I think we're going to be a bit short. Not 100% sure how much short, but I think we're going to be a bit short on our hollow block. So maybe probably 300 hollow blocks short. We'll see if that's actually true or not. I know we're going to do a put on the side of raised bed uh, garden for me. Looking like I was just told. Our wonderful welder is working on our front gate. One by two tubular. I do gotta say, they have all the span rails all the way done around the whole house. Uh, they just have the little corner areas where the CCTVs are gonna be in. This guy right here is primering with gray. Or it might be gray paint, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a sealant. I'm not not a hundred percent sure exactly. Yes. Looky looky what they got done. They're finally hooking up the drains on the house for the rain gutters. I am very, very happy about that one. So now we get to see how everything works. If we have any leaks around the, that little 90 up there. And uh, that orange pipe. Orange PVC is absolutely ugly. So uh, I hope Christian painted something pretty. We got the foreman here busy. See, uh, he's been busy. He's got the little drawer cabinet thing installed now. He got that corner edge built up over there for the little sideways shelves, you can call it, I guess. And he got his little helper right here to making sure doing all the cuts and stuff all right guys you can see the span rails all in other than the, the corners this was the last section that they were working on yesterday see the rain gutter over there connected up yes there it is orange i don't I think it matches anything so uh already suggested we paint it the same color as the house so it just blends in but uh right here is another one i think they're prepping it right now so maybe we'll get a chance to see these guys hook it up ah so uh i got correction my 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 tagalog isn't so good and their english ain't so good so but anyways i got an interpreter right there so this little thing that they're making is not not the gate it is the fencing it's the the metal pieces that's going to be up on top of the fencing oh man it is pouring and these guys just poured the entire bottom of that area for the fence and their laundry is getting wet wow so it's afternoon now almost quitting time and i am uh, actually pretty surprised they're actually putting the hollow blocks in on the walls today and they poured everything down on the bottom looks like a a soupy mess down here got lots and lots of cement down there so i don't think this thing is going anywhere as long as it doesn't rain too hard we should be all right all right and you can see we got the downspouts. I actually have all the downspouts all the way around the house done. Let's look. There's one. They threw some uh, white primer on that one. Not sure exactly what they're doing. Maybe they're going to put a bunch more on, a couple more layers. Looks better than that orange PVC. And 
our wonderful welder's been busy. He's got two of these hop pieces for our fence done. You're trying to keep them small enough for our uh, two house cats that can't fit through them, but I think one of them will be able to get through it. The other one, no way. He won't fit through it. He's a fat boy. I don't even think he can get his head through that. And look at that. The water tank is up. Nothing is connected to it. But it's okay. At least it's up and off the ground so it stops getting trashed out down here. So it'll be up now. The plumber's going to have his fun hooking all the connections up and put innards of that tank because I got the innards, innards down here inside the house in a bag. So let the fun begin. All right, so checking in on the foreman. See, he's been busy. He has almost the cabinet, the little niche area, and the desk made. And the outlines of everything is pretty much done for the cabinetry for this little section. So he whipped this out pretty quick. It's got some work still, but it's all removable at this moment until they can put down the tiles underneath. So he built it up and now he's going to take it apart a little bit so he can get the tiles underneath. So, no you guys can't really see it very well but there is the water tank. So it's going to be interesting to see how they connect all that water lines into this and I think I have, a, I have two outs for ones for a drainage and ones for well, the feed everything the house and then the inn so and then there's a vent and also a vent hole so all of them have to be filled covered and, and the fitting proper fittings in it still so I think they're waiting for the plumber to do it we'll see how that goes but there it is water tank it's sort of little I think it'll work for us for a little bit but it's not going to hold a ton of water. I mean, it's 775 liters. So it's approximately what, like 220 gallons or somewhere around around there. The capacity. I mean, it'll work if we're in a bind. And that's exactly what it's for. And the meeting of the minds. Christian's here, I sell, and the foreman. All talking about stuff. It is the end of the day. So we'll continue this video on tomorrow. All right, everybody, it is a wonderful Saturday. Second part of this wonderful video. Today is August 22nd. So the guys are cruising right along and building our wall today. Looks like there's only two people, or maybe there's three people total. I mean, Caesar is inside helping the foreman do tiling for our storage area. So some changes we've moved downstairs now for the wood stuff and yes the welder is still working on our little fencing for that section and that section those two sections he's working on right now busy and our tiles Right there, and there is the tiles and foreman. There's the tiles, the foreman, just cruising along, working on the tiling, our storage area, which is good. Actually, it'll be nice because they're, we're always worried about these white tiles. Everybody's going to mark them up and everything, uh, the construction going on. But for the most part, this room, these guys won't be using it. Once they get it done, uh, they just got to put some uh, wood shelving in here and a little desk, and that's it. And this room is actually done other than some painting. Guys, are working on some rain gutters right now for our dirty kitchen area. It's an interesting little setup. I think they had to add on to it. I'm not 100% sure. We have some of the rain gutters right there. I think they had to modify some stuff. Not sure exactly what's going on. 
but they're having some fun times it seems like trying to cut the holes out and make sure that uh, everything will drain and they're putting pop rivets in and building this in the closure up. So here's what they did with the cabinets. Instead of putting tiles underneath it they just put straight up cement underneath this cabinet to hold it in place I guess uh, you could say that. So I'm not too sure exactly how this is going to work with the tiles around it or, or whatnot. It's really only saving us like three tiles. Interesting, not what I expected. Right now I see they're going to be cutting a lot of tiles. So why not just stick them in and deal with it? Because they don't want to tile around this little area and have them beat up with the little pieces that are left sticking out. They're just going to throw concrete in it and then we're going to cut out of a whole bunch of tiles. Alright, so you can see down here, way, they are doing rain gutters. They're putting it in. It's flush up against our uh, little firewall piece. And they're just laying them in right now. So they're just setting them in. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, this is about the center section right here. Laid the gutter over the top of the center section piece. Should be underneath it, it's going to have less of a, a leak issue with the water running down it. So there will be some restriction flow right there and it could possibly go up underneath that metal section if he doesn't flip it around. Alright, and we're getting it fixed. There we go, now we're straight. I think it's a foreman, he didn't understand me. Yes, good! <laughs> so we'll do it in here again. The guys are still hand sanding the outside of the house. It's definitely going to rain here at some point. And there's dark clouds all the way around us and it's starting to get gloomy here. But they're getting what they can on the outside of the house. So you can see what they did with the little window things. And you remember what they're called. They uh, painted them gray, and that's the color they're staying. Uh, they'll put a couple more coats on them, and we're still determining that section of area right there where the AC unit is. We're trying to hide it. We don't know exactly how we're going to hide that. A lot of different ideas how to completely hide it, or if we're going to do like a chicken wire webbing over it, if we ever have to get into it again. Well, we don't know. It looks like a lot of work's going on for the fence. Build up the tiny hole. Oh. Oh, well, they're filling in all the tiny holes. So we don't have any water in this tubular. There we go. Foreman form having fun using Christian's toy. A nice tile cutter. Very nice. On certain tiles, it doesn't really cut it very well, I, from what uh, I have been told. The other ones are fine. Our big fancy ones, which is actually a different type of tile. I wasn't doing it. The ones in the bathroom. But uh, these ones look like really good, not, not having any crack issues or anything. This room is absolutely all white. Even our really beautiful white tile. That is snow white tile. Yes, we'll probably see every little mark and dirt and everything else, but it's all right. It is a really nice looking tile. They're finishing up the closets now that they're gluing everything in since they removed some stuff. So they can do the flooring, which we have a little tiny bit of change on it, which is good. It's a, it'll work, I guess. I don't know. But uh, over here, we popped out that cement. We can uh, do this whole area full of tile, so we don't have a little tiny three-quarter inch cut in it. So it's going to be solid. But maybe it's supposed to be. I don't know. We're going to see how this works out. Still got some sanding going on since of course it is raining so everybody's in inside the house except for the fence guys which 
Not too sure what's going on there, but they're out there getting a wee little wet. So uh, that's how sturdy that is. You can stand in there, no problem. That three quarter inch ply holds that framing together very well. Yes, indeed. You can see this shelf could probably hold three or four Filipino men in here. Absolutely. <laughs> me? I don't think it'll hold me. <laughs> Lots of sanding going on. Ah, see, they. Everybody loves me. I joke around and have a good time. All right, everybody. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And hit that bell button down there in that corner. Get notified for our wonderful next video that comes out to you guys. Thank you and goodbye.